Hello, YouTube. Welcome to the Dave D.Y. Show once again. Um, continuing to tweak the video feed. So let's see how this one goes. A <clears throat> few items today. And again, there's a whole slew of material we have out there. But first and foremost, I wanted to focus on Ariana Grande, who got a new tattoo on her palm. Who gets a tattoo on their palm? I can't recall many tattoos on the palm. I know many on the hand, fingers, um, even the, the last portion of your digit, the actual hand, writing, the wrist, the inside. My wife has boy names on her wrists of her two male children. On your palm? I don't know. I can't recall. And I found that odd. The hand, the inside of the hand gets a lot of use. So maybe that was intentional. Maybe she thought it would wear off. Maybe she wanted to be able to hide it. Who knows? She's got a new um, album out called Seven Rings. <clears throat> and she had two Japanese symbols. They're almost, you know, pictograms. They almost look like. Um, but again, I'm pretty sure the Japanese uh, written language has... Uh, they don't have the same structure as Chinese pictograms, right, where there's thousands. The Japanese uh, have a smaller number, and I think some of them are actual letters, unlike, you know, us who have an alphabet, or the Russians who have the Cyrillic alphabet. And you put those together to spell a word. The pictograms, the Eastern culture pictograms, are marginally or um, somewhat... Uh, largely different um, so she got two of them together and when you look at one it means uh, when you look at a single character it means seven and then you look at the other character it means hoop or circle ring or wheel she had them stuck together and unfortunately being the idiot Cool, uninformed, media giant, incredible singing artist. I love her to death. But this this is where these poor people go sideways. She walked into the tattoo shop, I hope, or had them come to her hotel or her house. And she wanted seven rings. So this intelligent person that does tattoos, or she who Googled it, <laughs> if she Googled it, it would have been right. If she'd opened her fucking phone up and Googled the two pictures that she had, she'd have got, oh, seven and hoop wheel ring. Put those two together. No, no. That means um, small grill, charcoal grill. And if you Google it, a bunch of pictures of charcoal grills, frying fish, and other shit come up. And social media destroyed her because she, you know, of course, released this on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. How fucking hilarious is that? You needed to put another character in between because the two individual words together form the small grill and the seven rings actually needed to be literally written out with whatever the formal Japanese text is, the pictograms. So, meat being barbecued on a grill, small grill. She got small grill on the palm. She went, what's up, little girl? What's up, little Chaco? <laughs> Fucking pop stars. These, these Hollywood, these, these, these popularity icons that are retards. Dude. Tattoos are permanent. I think she alluded to something where she said, Oh, dude, it'll wear off. Oh, yeah. But it's okay. What did she say? Indeed, I left out and there's a bunch of scribbles, which should have gone in between. Oh, it's good that you point that out, 
now, Ariana. And we know you're not stupid. You're just a populist idiot. Fuck, man. Should have called up one of your Asian friends in Japan and said, hey, if I put these together, they'd have gone, you know what, you barbecuing? You gonna cook up some, some fish? What are you doing? <laughs> See, this leads to the fact you must have good people around you. <laughs> and one of them, if you're putting tattoos on your palm and it's going to be some type of non-native symbol, picture, or text, you need to have an individual that's well-versed in other languages and other alphabets and writing so that they can go, no, no, that's wrong. It's weird because if you spent 10 minutes, you'd probably figure that out. It shows you, it shows you the silliness, the idiocy, the casualness of our society. And it's always happened, right? Hell, you can go out right now and Google bad tattoos. And it, some of them are placement and some of them are the actual material. And then you got these, right? And boy, oh boy, have tattoos become mainstream. Just everything about this seemed wrong. You put it on your palm. You didn't really investigate it. You're sort of stupid in general. You need to lay... And she's got to sell her brand. But here's the funny part. She's got an incredible voice. I've said this before. I've talked about her. All she needs to do is sing. Shut your fucking face and sing. This fiasco with these comedians or these individuals, these rappers that she's dating. I guess... I guess you have to create a brand or you have to create publicity or something. How much is enough? And I'll tell you what, it's not a question of how much is enough. It's when the machine starts to create the disease and you feed into it. As I said, you know, yesterday, um, you're just a person that God blessed you. Something blessed you with a voice. When the fuck did you think that you rose above everything and your opinions and your beauty and your intellect, and your presence, and, and your voice is just better than everything. You're a fucking joke. And your shit on your hand right now shows it. So the next picture I looked at was some fat dude, because his hand's fat, and he wrote barbecue grill on it. And he goes, oh, I went out and got a new tattoo. <laughs> what an idiot. So, a little strange there, Ariana. Um, she, what did she say? Indeed, I left out the blah, which should have gone in between. It hurts like fuck and still looks tight. Dude, that right, that's like a 12-year-old writing a comment. It hurts like fuck and still looks tight. I wouldn't have lasted one more symbol, laugh my ass off, LMAO, but this spot also peels a ton and won't last, so if I miss it enough, I'll suffer through the whole thing next time. Peels a ton. So now at the end, she sort of redeemed herself saying, it'll probably just come off. And then next time I'll put it on right. Durr! You fucking dimwit. And dude, she comes from down here, West Palm. And I think she's from one of the more affluent areas. And if you, you know, I've talked about this in the past. This is a bit of a hotbed for Hollywood and New York. And the, uh, what the hell is it called? Jupiter Island? It's got uh, more than a handful of the top uh, music producers in the globe, in the country. I mean, that is one of the most expensive zip codes. So you got a bunch of record producers and label producers and music producers over there. And they all drive, you know, fucking Bentleys and shit. And uh, Maybox and all that, my box, and, and I'm sure she had some influence there. And she's not stupid, but man, does she try to come across stupid. I guess it's trendy to be a fucking retard. Looks tight, boy. Dude, show some intelligence. Good God, have some grace. Hey, show some good, good manner. Show a little bit of fucking, you know decency and respect for yourself well at least she didn't get it tattooed on her head seven rank like mike tyson <laughs> or lee priest lee priest is one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time and he's got that native shit on his face <laughs> hey dude that doesn't come off 
Ah, he's a maniac. Mike Tyson, I think, uh, I don't know if he regretted it, but I've seen interviews. I think both of those cats were internally troubled and just did what they did. But what do you got? So I thought that was very humorous. So I thought I'd share and we'd all have a good laugh. It's stupid Ariana Grande. Stick to singing. Sing me a song. Don't show me a picture of the tattoo on your ass that spells monkey dick. You dope. <laughs> anyway, that's item one. Item two, look, man. The freeze, the cold weather, the shit going on across the entire nation. The plunging temperatures. The boiling water that you can throw up in the air that turns into snow. Like they do in Arctic zones. Right? This... Um, Cyclone, uh, bomb cyclone blast, it's rolling in here, right? This Arctic freeze, they're calling it Chiberia, Chicago. Record temps blazing downward, right? Uh, we're getting requests from all the utilities. Stop burning your gas. Stop burning your oil. Turn your thermostats down. Stop killing us. You're going to... We are going to tax the entire nation, right? The polar vortex is upon us. And now all I've seen for, I don't know, two or three days is, yeah, global warming, sure. And then on the other side, <laughs> you've got everybody stating, no, no, cooling is warming. This is what's going on. This is the process. So you've got this fucking narrative that we're doing bad things. And it's been going around since Gore or prior to Gore, right? And for some reason, the narrative has fixated itself in the measurement of temperature on this planet. And it, translate to it translates to industrialization, it translates to pollution, it translates to overpopulation, it translates to whatever the fuck you want. All things that we know are occurring. The plastic in the oceans, the massive dumps. If you've been to India, Delhi, New Delhi. If you've been to any major nation right now worth smog in the United States, any major uh, city, California, smog is everywhere. The massive conglomerations and growths of these new super cities, right? Not New York, 8, 10 million. Mexico City. 25, 30 million. Um, Tokyo, 35, 40 million. It's an island, right? Fucking, what do, you, what do you think's happening? Where's the dispute? Of course we're consuming this globe. Of course the 8 plus billion people on this fucking planet are having an impact. And if it has to be spun into some political narrative, some global narrative, right? The UN... Save the planet. We're consuming ourselves to death. We're globally warming. We've globally warmed before and we've globally frozen before. This planet will survive. We will destroy pieces of it and we will consume chunks of it. We're sucking the oil out of its core every fucking minute, every second. And then we're burning that in our cars, in our plants, in... And fuck our furnaces everywhere and it's a fucking narrative the two sides have polarized themselves against we're not warm and you're so stupid Trump oh no we're warming and we're all gonna die and you better fix it Gore Democrats Pelosi Beto it's so strange how simpletons latch onto a major idea and then it defines them. I don't get it. It just permeates the news waves. It is what it is. I'm sure we're warming. I'm sure we have a major factor in that. I'm sure it's going to continue and maybe we'll address some of it. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll change our policies, right? The fucking... UN policy or the, the global treaty that Trump bailed out of in France, right? Ah, we signed that. I'm not signing that fucking thing. You guys are stupid. Obama's a retard. Nobody's a retard. And it's going to take a global effort. But I'm telling you right now, we need to fix our stuff. 
we have fixed a lot of our stuff. We began fixing some of our stuff when my father was functional and alive in his 60s, maybe the 1980s, the 1990s. We put giant filters and buffers in the plant uh, exhaust and output, all the waste that was going out of our major plants, scrubbers that would remove the toxicity into the air. We try, we've tried to create these massive landfills, these dumps, these um, clay molded capture um, vessels that can store nuclear waste for decades, right? And then they've got all the pipes and then they monitor all the gases that are in there, all this shit. We started it and we have to continue it. And the population in this country is steadying or even dwindling, right? Birth rates. China and India, they're not going to do a fucking thing. Nothing. That China right now is on a path to take over this planet. Which they should be. There's a billion and a quarter of them. Finally, they're rising again. They built that big wall centuries ago, thousands of years ago. Now they're coming back up. They're stealing everything they can. They're doing as much as they can. They're evolving from a farming society. Whew, they're taking over. And boy, the Indians are already there. They've spread the army across the globe. They're re evolutionizing. They're revolutionizing. They're becoming the de facto engineers and intellectual uh, captains of the globe, of the world. They're integrating themselves in every major society. And it's wonderful to see. It's wonderful to see. That's our human race expanding. But on some scale, we have to manage it. And if we don't, we will consume this planet. I don't know when. 100 years, 1,000 years, who knows? I'm sure we're going to be gone by then. We got geniuses like Elon Musk. He's living on Mars. That guy's launching fucking rockets. That guy's building electric cars. He's leading us to the future. One fucking dude is the bellwether. He's, he is the flashpoint. He's been the catalyst. And you got Bezos, right? And you got uh, the dope from Virgin, right? Who's sort of been dwindling. More of the billionaire movie star, you know, entrepreneur, strange retard, Richard Branson. Banging chicks everywhere, got silver hair, his long mane, his cool stylish look, a mustache, $10,000 suits, $100,000 million dollar watches, exotic cars, planes, trains, automobiles, whatever. That's not Elon Musk. That motherfucker's future. He is innovation. He's renovation. He's forward. He's troubled. Those little voices in his head, he's, it's driving him forward. And along the way, he's banging Amber Heard. He's flying around and doing cool shit. He's making flamethrowers. I'm going to put a couple tunnels under L.A. so I can drive. Fuck you. <laughs> so I align with Elon Musk. I don't align with the rest of these retards. We're, we've been globally warming for a while. We're going to eat this planet. we got to get off of it. The race is going to expand. Stop this stupid argument. Stop this argument so that it ties to political levels and then it relates to party members and it relates to your position. I'm right, you're wrong. Oh my God. Global warming, no global warming. Global warming, no global warming. Dude, of course the, the globe's warming. Probably be percentages or degrees. You know, percentages of degrees or degrees. There's more of us. Fuck me. And... Who cares what global warming is doing? Is it going to destroy the ozone? Maybe. Is it going to deplete all of our resources? Very likely. I was taught that as a child in grade school. Uh, yeah. That, that's not tied to global warming. That's fucking humanization. That's us taking over the globe, which we've been bound to do. We are the apex living organism on this planet. What are you guys talking? What are these people talking about? So it's silly, and I wanted to bring that up because right now, my God, it's free, dude. We've had winters here for a long time. Now we got a cold winter. I'll tell you, I heard NPR. You know, I don't know. I listen to NPR. I listen to non-biased. So I go out to Drudge Report. I look at Breitbart. I just want news, and there aren't many agencies left that just report the news. They don't put up a. Uh, perspective spin on it, which is really hard to do anyway, right? So I, those are, those are the sites I occupy. And on NPR, they were like, yeah, there's a, 
we've got a heavy warm mass that's pushing this Arctic air, this polar vortex, downward. Which is why what should be up in Canada, should be up in the Arctic, is actually moving down toward the Northern America, right? The Northern United States. That's not new. It's happened before. We've had cold winters. Dude, I keep seeing Blizzard 77 pictures when there was 11 feet of snow. Ah! Yeah, global warming, end of the world. Uh, no, it's, we're going to go to another ice age freeze. Oh, fuck me. So, uh, you know, those are my perspectives. I'm sure we're going to continue to see this. Because, again, the masses are simple. you got to get smacked in the face, and then you're like, oh, look at that. Oh, that's what's happening. Yeah, you're right, man. Silly. My perspective. And then the last piece that I wanted to bring up really quickly here was that, my God... Sarah Sanders thinks God wanted Donald Trump to be president. Sarah Sanders. I think God wanted Donald Trump to be president. I have no issue with people rooted in faith. I have no issue with people professing their faith. Um, and, you know, I guess it's fair that you know they're going to share a statement like that. But it brings me back to maybe Riddick, Vin Diesel. <laughs> when they were on one of the planets getting killed by some monsters and one of the individuals that was soon to be deceased and consumed by the monsters said something about, you know, why would God? And Vin Diesel stood on the entrance ramp to the skiff, the little ship that was going to save him. And he turned and looked at the kid and he goes, and kid, leave God out of this. He, had, he wants no part of this. So, this is man. This is us. It has nothing to do with faith or religion. Trump is where he's at because of the shit that's going on. There's shit going on everywhere. You saw my chaos podcast. Um, and we're going to have to weather our way through this with all the stuff that's happening. So, uh, you know, I thank God. No. God didn't elect President Trump. We did. I did. I voted for him. And in some respects, uh, you know, there's been some positive things that have come out of it, and there's negative things that come out of it, as with any president. And it's tumultuous. There are tumultuous times right now. So it's up to us to manage it. And even if God wanted him to be president, uh, I don't know what he's, God's given him right now. Maybe he's got the red phone, the, the football, that he can call him up. And instead of launching the nukes, he can talk to God or Jesus. I hope. I hope he's got some super secret insight. Or maybe the book of treasures. He's got that super fucking book from uh, Nick Cage or Tom Hanks, right? Where he's got all the secrets. Our National Archives and uh, the little diamond with the eye on my dollar bill. All my Masons and my Knights Templar. Ooh, man. Super secrets. He's going to bust those out when everybody thinks he's down. <laughs> he's gonna, you know what he's going to do? He's going to walk into the gold room because that thing exists. The giant vault with all the um, multi-generational treasures, the, the gold pharaohs and the Roman, you know, the ingots and the, the gold and silver and all that shit. The Caesar coins. He's got it all. Well, he tells that anyway. You, you, uh, I'm a billionaire. I got billions of dollars, Trump. And I'll tell you what, um, Baldwin does a great job of Trump. <laughs> they got to stop him. But boy, does he do with the lips. Alec Baldwin. Donald Trump, you're fired. They've milked the bejesus out of that on Saturday Night Live. Robert De Niro, everybody's joined in. Matt Damon. All right, so that's my uh, cast for today. I'm going to keep it short. Uh, just a couple things to consider. And uh, hopefully this turns out because, again, I'm using the new camera technique. And I've changed some of the settings. Subscribe, comment, like, share. All at the bottom. Fucking do it. Or maybe over there. Whatever. Join, man. Give a brother some, some props. Build me up. So give me some support. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon. Got a lot of things coming, Super Bowls and activities.
See you, YouTubers. Out!